I bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel, by the grace of God. You are watching me in heaven and air life program by the special grace of God. Uh, I pray the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, we want to go into a deeper, in a deeper message today. A deeper message today, which we need to, uh, uh, we need to consider by the grace of God need to consider by the grace of God. But before we go into the message, uh, let's pray. Our everlasting Father, we want to pray. We want to thank you for your grace and mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, Father, Lord, that you open the eyes of the people looking at me. You will touch their heart. You will release your anointing upon them. You will allow them to see the truth, the true word of God. I mean the true word of God. You will give them the insight in the message. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, once again, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel. It's about Daniel by God's, God's grace. Uh, today, we are going to talk about uh, different kind of things. Uh, but I will be taking it one after the other by the grace of God. Our theme for today is spiritual thief. Spiritual thief. And in that spiritual thief, there are different things I'm going to talk about, which is a, a, a little bit, uh, it's going to be deep by God's grace. But today I will be, I will be talking about uh, uh, a lottery, talking about uh, visa lottery, bet Ninja, all those lottery of a thing. I'll be refined to that today. But before I go into that, who is a spiritual thing? The Bible talks about it in the book of John chapter 10. John chapter 10. John chapter 10. Uh, verses 10. John, John 10, 10. The Bible talk about spiritual things there. So the thief comment, listen to that. The thief comment, not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Abundantly. You talk about the thief there, he said the thief comment, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But the Bible, Jesus Christ said, he has come to give us abundant lives. Abundant lives. Abundant lives. In this explanation of Jesus Christ, we got the understanding that the devil is the spiritual thief that we are talking about. The devil himself is the spiritual thief we are talking about. I remember the last time I teach about the spiritual thief, I got people get serious deliverance and their deliverance was so great that many be, their life began to transform. Those people who are spiritual, they are poor. I mean, physically poor. They begin to have blessing of God. Success begin to come their way when I teach this message. Then, it has been a very long time ago, around eight years ago or so. Today, I was asking God in the spirit. I said, what should I teach your people? Then I saw a, a trance in the, a, a, you know, I was, somebody asked a question from a WhatsApp and they asked me, and God said, teach about this. He said, teach about this today. And he gave me some revelation about it. In fact, so, and uh, and he told me to teach them. And the things he talked about was a deeper things. He began to minister some things again into my ear. He was telling me, I was hearing his voice, talking about different kind of things that he told me that people are not aware that I should tell them so that uh, 
they can they can get their deliverance before it's coming but today we want to talk about uh, the areas of loot lottery or visa lottery or bet niger or loto of 18 all those things we are if we are going there now but before we we, we get there uh, i want you to understand what spiritual activity is all about and what his work is all about the bible said that he has come to steal to kill and to destroy I don't know, maybe you have seen it before, but I know it is something that is common. Probably you have a dream and you will see a demon that comes. It will come as a thing. Probably you have a dream. You might have, have it. It is not you, you will have, you must have, have it. It's a general thing, but you didn't know that it's what spiritual thief in activating, activation that time. You might have a dream and in that dream, you see that thief come to your house. And when the thief comes to your house, they see some things. And they take it away it was not a physical thief that was you are having dream about it was that spiritual thief that always coming down in that form so i'm going to explain to you where they are taking all these things they have taken from your life that thing they came to your house to see is not just a mat you might see me they carry your tv you carry this it was not material things that they carry it was a, 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 a treasure that is being deposited into your life a, a, a destiny a things like that that has been deposited into your life that that thief came to steal he has come to steal but physically you know in the dream it will seems as if it's a normal thief coming and you'll be very careful that you tell yourself hey uh me your, your one of your daughter or your son is that uh, be careful oh, be closing the door i have a dream that thief come to my house oh, and do this and this sometimes it might be a physical attention but most of the time this spiritual aspect is the one happening Whenever you see that they come into your house, sometimes this thief can come and take the joy of your family, your marriage. And when he take it away, you just be you just be seeing that you and your husband that have been understanding each other before, you are no more having understanding. I'm not going to that area. I told you where I'm going to. It's more deeper and it's, it's a deep thing. And another thing is this: I'm talking about you having the dream. This spiritual thief always come anytime but mostly he activate he always are uh, do his works in the night in the midnight when man sleep he was the one jesus was referring to he said when man sleep his enemy came do you remember that that parable he said the enemy came hmm? he saw what god didn't plant it it was a proverb though he interpreted it but it's also applicable to this same spiritual thief i'm talking about this spiritual thief is a thief i'm talking about thief a real thief that his own thief is not a physical one but a spiritual one whenever he come to a man to steal something from them well it is for let's say that i'm a holiness mass of man of god i'm a christian cannot do one it's half a level. Your angels, if your angel is not activated to fight for you, he can come and steal anything from your house. He can come to steal your child. If you see a dream and you see a kidnapper carry your child, it's meaning that your child, they wanted to kill your child. It's spiritual thief acting all these areas. You see, you understand me now. Now, where is it carry anything this spiritual thief carry there is a particular place he used to drop it that is where we are going there's there's something we call spiritual word bank spiritual word bank this spiritual uh bank this spiritual word bank is is full and loaded with treasures in the spirit i have been one carry there before what is there is something that if you see it if you are a woman being you can faint if assuming it's a physical something because the glory of generation to generation imagine the generation of adam to this moment all the blessings all the people who have been there have been stored in that place including your home i pray you will receive your home today in jesus name now you will see there are some people that they have been destiny there be destinies to to be to 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 be prosper probably at the age of 18 years 
or 19 years. But at, even at the age of 30 years, 35 years, they are still struggling. The reason is because this spiritual thief have taken the blessing from them and he has gone and submitted in spiritual world bank. This spiritual world bank, I have been there before I told you. Many glory has been there. Many money has been there. Different kind of currency is there. Different kind of glory is there. Gold and silver and diamond, destiny, human being are tied there. It's a spiritual world bank. Spiritual world bank. Blood is also there in this spiritual world bank. Many blood, you will see sometimes that you will just wake up. You will see that there are some particular place that have been injured in your past. And you will see that the blood come out. You will see that blood come out of your body. But you didn't understand how this blood has to be. You know, you just see that there's a blood that come out of your body. You didn't understand it. How it happens. You, your, intention was, your intention was that maybe it is rat that eat your leg or eat your body. Most of the time it is not rat. It is this spiritual thief that shook of your suck your blood out and go and drop it into spiritual world bank. I'm telling you things that you might find very difficult to believe. The reason is because probably you have no idea about it. This spiritual world bank, it is still existing as of now, and many glory has been has been stored there. I remember that when God wanted to set me free, it is the place God said, went to. I remember there was a particular place I was asking God for breakthrough. I, I saw myself there in that place. I back. It is there that Jesus came and set me free. My spiritual personality was there. My blessing personality, he was there. They have tied him there. Many years ago when I was asking for breakthrough, and Jesus Christ came and set me free there. And see, that time, things have been very easy for me. So, it is, do what I'm telling you now. It's, a, it's not a matter of a mouth matter us. I'm trying to, you know, I'm telling you the deep things about the spiritual realm. Spiritual thing. I'm still going to where we are still going to. So, let me just try to explain to you the kind of dangerous thing this kind of being. God didn't make you to be a slave. God didn't make you to be somebody who is poor. The way God has created everyone is with glory. But something happened along the way. Something happened along the way. All this, uh, all this, uh, this, uh, this witchcraft that you are seeing that they will say that taking somebody's glory. The question is this: somebody will take somebody's glory and take it. Why is he not prospering? The witchcraft. Most times they take it and go and submit it to the spiritual world bank. Why, when they submit it, they will not promote them. That's what the promotion is. What the witchcraft are looking for, the promotion. They will give back to different children, and they will be the one to kill their children themselves to donate them. The reason they are donating them is just for promotions. When they donate the children, their blood is going straight to the spiritual world bank. So this witchcraft you are saying, all this occultic, and they tell you that they want to kill somebody. Killing somebody for what? Nothing. But the blood they are soaking there, they are donating it to spiritual world bank. That spiritual world bank always seeks for blood and glory and safety and all. And so, sorry, I'm going to go a little bit deeper. You see, most of the aircraft accident you see. Aircraft accident, you see, accident, you will see that uh, you just said that one aircraft fell and people died there. It is mostly, it is not natural. Somebody who has a plane will not just put a plane on the air now without checking everything that is there. Everything will be okay, and suddenly you just say that something knock along the way, and there will be one way or the other aircraft problem. You know, they will just they will kill, they will kill, and several lives will be. The blood will be said. Most of this thing happens. It was not a, a just a normal thing that happened. Is the devil that commanded the children to go, his agent to go and takes blood. He needs blood to fill the spiritual world bank. To fill the spiritual world bank. That blood is what he needs. The glory, the destiny, he wants them to be wasted. They are all there. Your own, where you are, is not where God places you. Some of you are supposed to be a president of a nation. 
Instead of you to be a president of the nation, they will make you a manager in your, bed, on your, in your working place. Meanwhile, you are destined to be president, not manager. You say, I'm blessed, I'm blessed now. God has blessed me. It is not the intention of God. The original intention I've been taking away is the counterfeit you are using. Many destiny has been wasted completely. And I will tell you how it was wasted. I'm still coming to that. I'm just trying to bring the, I'm just bringing the preamble now so that you can understand what I'm telling you. You will just see a car accident. It does. Say, people have that. It is mostly not natural. It's not natural. They are, all this blood has been donated to the spiritual world bank. That's what is they needed. Another thing that this spiritual world bank is also requesting for people is tears. Tears. Umide. Tears. Cry. Whenever a Christian cries or anybody cries, they call, they take away your tears and they take it to the spiritual world bank. Satan wants to see you crying. That is why if you see somebody who is always rejoicing, you will overcome the devil. Whenever you cry over anything, your tears come out. The devil come and take the tears and take it to the spiritual world bank. It has a thing he's doing in your life. It has a thing that is using to connect to your life. Tears. Tears. I'm still coming to that, you know. I'm coming to that. I'm still coming to that. I'm still coming to that. Now, let's go back now. I'm just giving you the explanation of this gravity of spiritual world bank, which you needed to understand. And you have to rise against them and to make sure that you are free completely from their own captivities. Do you understand me now? You are going to be free in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak as an apostle of God and as a man of God who God sent the message for you today, wherever they have tied you in the spiritual world bank, the Lord will set you free. Now, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Now, there is a thing that the devil is doing. You see, the devil will not come. You see, the devil will not come and force you to do anything. He always comes with strategies. He always comes with strategies. Do you understand me now? He always comes with strategies. He will not just come and one way or the other to just uh, 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 to tell you, oh, yeah, do this. No, 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 no. He comes with strategies. And if I will tell you things, if I will tell you the deep, deepest things today, deepest thing today, deepest thing today, 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 <laughs> the business of the devil is the most is the most business that is is moving in the whole world because whether you like it or not devil is having his business too in the world and is moving very well very well very very well now the devil will not just in one way or the other push it to do anything there's something they bring out and they are calling it visa lottery american lottery a uh, lotto a uh, bet niger a uh, different kind of things and whereby people begin to treat begin to bet to bet in there uh when you bet this crypto currency of a team cryptocurrency all these things are demonic. They are demonic. A business, business strategy that the devil is using against his children. I mean, against the children of God. Listen to me. Anytime you go to the visa lottery or lotto to go and drop your money, to go and drop your money. I repeat, to go and drop your money. There is an interchange of glory. Interchanging of glory. When you drop your money, the person who is on the charge of that thing is a spiritual transaction. You might not see it. You personally might not see it. But it's a spiritual transaction. When you go there and drop your money, you are dropping your destiny. 
you are dropping your glory. You are dropping your success. You are dropping your prosperity. You are dropping everything that is concerning you at his blessing. When you drop it, probably for a game, when you won and the devil give you his money and you use it, you will become very poor in life. Very poor in life. If you, God now save you, you are not poor. Your, your children will be poor. If your children is not poor, there is a connection you have with the devil. Your glory has been tapped away. But mostly, those who play bet like that or Lotto, they are always very poor. If they are not poor, their children will be poor. There is a spiritual connection that attach with it. There is a spiritual connection that attached with it that is more than your own knowledge. What you see is that, hey, ah, ah, Shesim is going to win Athna. Ah, he's going to win it too, too whole. Ah, now, you are you are just, you know, trying to think of, uh, you know, how to win the game and but eventually you win it or you didn't win it. Once you drop your money there, you are dropping your destiny. It's like a bet. You are betting it. Any bet, anybody that bet or do uh uh bet like that or whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever can never make ever forget ever. Your name has been rolled out of every candidate. Your name has been rolled out from being candidate of heaven. Two, your destiny has been sold. So in so ever, never you play bet, Niger bet, bet Niger, Visa lottery. If you do this, it will end you and take you to hell. It is a demonic thing that should never and will never be practiced. Never practice it for no reason. Never practice it. If you practice it, you are gone. It will be donated to the spiritual world bank where it is only Jesus that can go there and set you free. I'm telling the truth. Ah, Father, Father, I pray. I've, it's more than that. Spiritual world bank is not somewhere, somewhere you can just march and go there and say, hey, where's my glory? Never. Jesus has to stand up from his throne and go there and take it. Or you have to send it in the market to go there and take it. Because it's a where where is it where it is you imagine central world bank is it you can you just go there anyhow central bank CBN central bank of Nigeria or CBN or uh, CBN central bank in your own country can you just go there and just say you want to enter there and be doing anything and say oh yeah give me I want to go and collect money there is there no processing is there no security there can thief just go there and say oh yeah also never. It is very heavily secured. It is also a small, small, small bank you can go that you can just enter anyhow. Even when you enter, security has to say, oh, yeah, you wear your nose marks. Oh, yeah, you register this. What do you want? If you do any nonsense things, yeah, they can arrest you. Talk less of saying CBN or Central Bank of uh, any of your country. Okay. Now, we're not talking about spiritual bank now. CBN of spirit, Central Bank of, of, the, of the darkness now. You cannot just go there. That if you see the demo I saw that was holding me captive in that spirit, in that center back of the darkness, they are guided and demonic or book something. So many, I have never seen them in my life. Different kind of creature. And Jesus came. In fact, Jesus Christ was the light that shined in that place. Different destiny has been tied there. What I want to tell you is that anytime you play all the kind of betting of a thing, you have become a slave in the spiritual realm. You have sold your destiny and you become a slave. It becomes slave under the spiritual powers. So this is why you need to be very careful, extremely careful, and you need to pray. If you have not found yourself in this shoe before, I want you to go into fasting and prayer seven days. Seven days fasting and prayer. And make sure you pray very well. Pray to the extent that your body will know is praying. 
tell them that the Lord should, should bring all and take everything that concerns you in the spiritual world back. Your grandfather, your great, 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 great grandfather, destiny has been there. Has been there. Your great, great grandfather has been there. That's why they say that uh, there's family cause. Anything family cause is talking about arresting your destiny. For, 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 for destiny. Children to come, destiny, and putting them in the center of the, of the world, of the, of the darkness. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. This is what I want to talk about, about the lottery and the betting. They are satanic. Don't involve there. Don't touch it. Don't involve. Make sure that you are very careful. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God help you. May the Lord God set you free and deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please, this is just a part one. We are going to talk about the part two tomorrow by the grace of God. Tomorrow, the part two will come out. Part two of the Spiritual World Bank. This one is another details that you needed to listen. Ah! The Lord has already told me what to tell you tomorrow. He explained to me. This one is more deeper. It's more deeper. It's more deeper than you think. So make sure that you subscribe and you press notification button so that you too can partake. The Lord will bless in Jesus' name. And also, I want to announce this to everyone who is watching me that we have stopped Sunday service. We have now used Sunday now as heaven and hell. Why our service, our uh, our Sabbath service is on Saturday. Saturday. So make sure you join us on Saturday for the Sabbath service. So it means now that our service now start from Sunday to Thursday. So there is no service on Friday, but there is service on Saturday, that is Sabbath service, and Sunday for the heaven and hell. God bless you. God be with you. Make sure you subscribe, you share it, share it to everybody. Nobody is exception in this matter. Nobody is exception. Let them all share it. Share it in your YouTube channel. Share it everywhere. It's very important. God bless you and God be with you. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye.